Hey Virgo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your weekly reading for December 16th. Oh my God. Um, to the 23rd. Wow, a couple days before Christmas. Okay, so as you can see, I have covered up my beautiful desk with this blanket again because there are some people that are complaining about the glare. You know what? I get it. I, you know, and I probably fought putting this thing back up. It actually keeps the cards from moving around too, which drive me nuts. Um, so it's not a completely, it's not a bad thing, but you know, I fought it because I liked working on my, on my desk. So either way, it's okay. I don't want there to be glare for people. So it works out for the best. All right. So I'm going to pull six cards for you guys. And this is going to be, I always tell you guys whether I'm going to do a more intuitive reading or I'm going to designate meanings to the cards. And that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to designate meanings to the cards. Okay. So this card here represents your present, okay, where you're at right now. This card represents your past. This card represents the heart of the matter. This card represents any challenges. And these two cards represent what's coming, okay? And after I turn over all of your cards, I'm going to pull cards from a different deck for the person that you're watching the video for. Okay, justice. Can I just tell you, <laughs> justice or Libra is showing up over so many readings. So definitely, if you're somebody that likes to cross watch, you could probably find this card in just about any other reading this week. This card has come up a lot. So <clears throat> at, this is where you're at in your present right now, okay? Um, this is the first time this card has showed up in the present. So a lot of people could be um, dealing with Virgos, all right? Um, because this card can represent a few things. It can re represent legal matters, okay? You know, whether it's business or love, these are love readings. So chances are this is possibly around an impending marriage or this could be around an impending divorce, okay? So if you find yourself in this situation, okay, this might be the reading for you. Let's see, what do we have here? Ten of Cups, all right, so this is your past, all right? Ten of Cups is complete emotional fulfillment. So this is the first time, I will say, <clears throat> in the readings today where we've gone you know, in a, in a way, possibly, and I don't want to say backwards, because we, we're going from emotional fulfillment to, again, potential legal matters. So it could be, you know, because of you finding complete emotional fulfillment, it could mean a divorce, it could mean marriage, you know, so it's not that it's moving backwards, it's just changing. Something has evolved. You, you guys might be leveling up in some way. What is at the heart of the matter here? Eight of Cups. Okay. <laughs> so this, this kind of clarifies it, okay? Um, first of all, the blue, okay, is represents the throat chakra, okay? So anytime that you're dealing with a legal matter of some kind, there has to be some communication around that. So I feel like that is happening right now. The Ten of Cups in the past is in the solar plexus chakra, so indicated by the yellow. So this is your fight or flight response, all right? So I feel like you're either fighting for something or 
you're leaving something behind. And because at the heart of the matter of this reading, we have Eight of Cups, this tells me that you are leaving something behind, okay? You know, and while that might not feel good in the moment, it, it could be happening because there's something else or there's somebody else that brings more emotional fulfillment to you, all right? What is the challenge here? Yeah, the world. So a cycle is successfully ending. So many people look at, you know, leaving a commitment or leaving a relationship as a failure. And that's so not how you should look at it. <laughs> okay, because everything everything is in your life for a reason or for a season. And just because you know, you might have put a ring on it in the past doesn't mean that it wasn't just for a season, okay? And that's just the reality of life, you know? And, you know, I, I see some of the comments sometimes about, you know, people out there, you know, condemning certain things. And, you know, and I, it, honestly, that's where they're at. That's how they feel. I respect how they feel. Um, but I'm a big believer that, you know, people are here for one reason. And I feel like that is to learn lessons. And when a lesson has been learned, that means you're at the end of a season, you know, and People condemn themselves, people condemn others, people judge those situations. And you know what? It, it's, it's not for anybody else to judge. I feel like somebody needs to hear that. It's not for anybody else to judge. It's not. Because everybody is here on their own path to learn their own lessons. And those lessons come in all different packages. They just do. Okay, let's see what's coming for you. Ooh, look at that, Ace of Wands. So what's very um, noticeable here, okay, is both of these cards are surrounded in red, okay? So that's coming from a place of I have, okay? This is the root chakra. So... You definitely have an ending here of some kind or, you know, somebody is walking away. I feel like it's you because this portion of the reading is concentrated on you. Okay. Um, over here, we have Ace of Wands. So you also have a new passion towards something else or somebody else. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you know, you might be feeling guilty over this. Don't feel guilty over having a passion for something new if you're leaving something behind. All right? You may say to yourself, gosh, you know, I shouldn't feel this way so soon. You know, consider yourself lucky if you feel this way that soon. Okay? Because... That might be exactly what you need in your transition, all right? And then we have Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving, you're moving to a better place, something that feels, something that feels good to you, okay? And this Six of Swords is surrounded in this, um, you know, this dark blue color, which is the third eye chakra. So it's something that you can see. It's something that you can visualize. It's something that it, it's something that's tangible to you. And being that it's next to this Ace of Wands, I feel like I feel like this is somebody new. Somebody new that kind of takes you away from 
chaos. So, you know, the story here almost feels like this person that is inspiring this joy and this calm and this new energy here, it feels like that person might have been around for longer than you care to admit. And this person might have been a trigger or might have been a catalyst to help you move out of a situation that was just ending as a season in your life that needed to end world. It was just, it was just done. You learned everything that you need needed to learn. I don't feel like there's a lot of um, fighting or negative energy around this ending. You know, it's almost like there's almost a mutual agreement that this just needed to end. This needed to go away because both of us are ready to move on. Okay? All right, so let's see from your person that you're watching this video for, and I feel like it's in this Ace of Wands, Six of Swords energy. Let's see what they have to say. All right, so this represents their past. And then right along with you, what's coming for them? All right, past, Son of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, so this person, this Ace of Wands, Six of Swords person that I feel like you are you might be feeling a little bit guilty about having in your life so soon after this. Um, you know, I feel like they they were waiting in the wings for a long time. Okay, they might have been watching you. They might have been interacting with you. They might have known a little bit what was going on with you in your life or in another relationship. And I feel like this is them swooping in when they saw the opportunity. And I don't feel it was, you know, with any malicious intention. N not at all. You know, I feel like this person was respectful of you know, any situation that you had going on prior, all right? But the second they knew that there was an opportunity where they could be around you or they could move something forward with you, I feel like they took the opportunity. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Woo! Okay, so... This person sees you as the whole enchilada, okay? We have Ten of Pentacles here. We have Ten of Cups here for you. So, yeah, you both saw each other as, as the whole enchilada, all right? And I feel like timing really played a huge part in this, a huge part. This person sees you as their person, so whoever is this new Ace of Wands passion for you, and I don't feel like it's brand new, but I, I feel like it's new after something else ended. And then we have Daughter of Cups, which is Page of Cups. Okay, so the feelings between the two of you are much deeper, are much deeper than what has actually been shared with each other. Page of Cups here, you know, this person, even though they see a future with you, they may be talking, you know, let's go away for the weekend or let's, um, gosh, what do you do in the winter, like for fun? Um, you know, let's go see the Christmas lights let's you know something romantic page of cups is a message of love 
okay? I feel like the feelings between the two of you are much deeper. You both see potential for long-term, long-term partnership with each other. I don't feel like it's been fully expressed at this point. It hasn't. In, in most cases, I don't feel it's been fully expressed. Now, this world card is in the challenge spot, okay? So, you know, and I, I feel that this has to do with guilt on your part, or I feel it's on your part, all right? Um, You know, and when we're looking at challenge, guilt, the, the quicker we can get rid of guilt, you have guilt potentially because you feel like you had somebody waiting in the wings, okay? And the truth is, is that Eight of Cups, Justice, it would have happened anyway. The fact that you may have somebody to move towards that you feel very strongly about, you might want to just consider that a bonus. But let's take a look at what you and this other person are afraid of right now or worried about or challenged by. That's you, and this is for them. This is what you're worried about? <laughs> okay, so this, is, could, this could be why this feels like it's moving quickly or, you know, things feel too easy because soulmate energy can absolutely feel very easy. And, you know... Again, a cycle for you is ending. I don't feel, like I said, I don't feel like there's any real argument. I don't feel like there's even a ton of hurt feelings. I don't. I feel like it's like both of you said one day, you know what? We're not good for each other anymore. We, you know, we've ridden the, the ride for as long as we can. And now you have the opportunity to potentially be with a soulmate. A soulmate, that's a lucky thing. And notice all of the red energy here, this is something that you already have. So this confirms that this person is somebody that probably came into your life in some way before the ending of this current situation. So it just, it might feel a little too easy for you. And notice that this soulmate, third eye, this is third eye chakra here. This person was meant to come into your life, possibly to stimulate you out of a situation that you needed to be out of anyway. That's how I look at things. Things just happen the way they're supposed to happen. What is this person afraid of? perception. Okay. So this is the, this comes from the heart chakra. Notice the green around it. Okay. So this comes from a place of I love. So the way that I see this person is this person is picking up on your, you know, your fear of what your perception is of them possibly coming in as quickly as they did. They have love for you and you might say, oh my gosh, already? But you know what? You have love for this person too. And the fact that it moved as quickly as it did confuses you a little bit and yet it feels easy at the same time. All right, so let's get a couple of Power of Love cards. And, you know, what I'm telling everybody today is, you know what, 
I'm going to really leave the meaning to these cards up to you, what they mean to you. But if something really jumps out at me, I'll share that with you, of course. All right, so we've got one, two. First card. Are you kidding me? This is your worry, okay? And then we get release. Release. You have the ability to give, give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. This is what this whole reading has been about. And then we have humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, I mean, that's what I'm talking about when I say a season. You know, your path is a culmination of a bunch of seasons. And sometimes that includes people and sometimes that is about releasing people. <coughs> All right, so that's what I'll say about those cards. All right, Virgos, that's what I have for you this week. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, the 2020 readings. So in other words, you know, giving you a forecast for each month for the, the year of 2020. Those are really helpful, too, to go back on. And you can look at, you know, each month and, you know, see how things played out. So those are fun to rewatch as well. Um, so what I want to tell you about those is that I'm going to be taking a lot of time and putting a lot of energy into those. So I'll be releasing those as I do them. So they're not all going to come out on one day. They're going to come out as like little surprises here and there. So you can just kind of keep tuned to, you know, um, but they'll, they'll all be coming out probably within the next, you know, seven to 10 days. Okay. So that's what I have for you. I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Virgo. Bye-bye.